Hi guys, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm doing my son Dimmy's seven month update. He is just chilling over here on the couch and I'll pick him up when he gets fussy but I figured I would just do this update while my toddler is sleeping while I have the chance. So let's get right into this. He is 17 pounds now. I just weighed him in his I use the ring sling on one of these kind of weights and I just hook the ring sling on here and I weigh him with this. So he's about 17 pounds. He's a pretty big boy. He stopped gaining weight quite as fast, but I'm sure that's just because he's getting more active. He's still nursing really good. We did have a little bit of a problem with my milk supply a, a couple weeks ago. It really dipped down, which is was kind of scary for me because that's exactly when my milk supply dried up with my daughter Sophia because I was pregnant with him. <laughs> so it was just freaking me out a little bit that right at the exact month that my milk started drying up last time, I started doing it again, which I knew I wasn't pregnant. So it was like the wrong timing. I definitely wasn't pregnant, but I don't know why I did that. I don't know if your body can like get in a habit of doing something at a certain time, but I also realized that I wasn't eating enough food, which probably was the problem. Well, most likely was the problem because I was so busy. Canning season is like super hectic time for me. And so I was like forgetting to eat till like two o'clock, which is really, really not good, even if you're not breastfeeding. So. I've been doing way better about that. It's like a competition with myself, trying to eat as much as I possibly can, see if I can eat more than I did yesterday. But my own supply has been doing really good and I haven't gained weight, so I guess I really didn't need to eat that much food. <laughs> he was a little bit frustrated when my milk supply was low, but he is just such a good sport and he does enjoy nursing, even if he isn't hungry, which is a lot different than it was with my daughter. She only nursed to get food. So I just really enjoy that he nurses for comfort, but he's doing really good with that. I'm gonna try to make it at least a year. I would love to make it past. But around a year, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the GAPS diet. So I don't know if that'll make my milk supply go lower, but at least if I make it to a year, he'll be eating enough food by then that if my milk goes lower, he won't have to go on formula or anything like that. He has six teeth now. My goodness, <laughs> he has so many teeth. He had four in the last up update, I think, and then just a couple weeks ago. So he had two, his two top teeth and then he got the two teeth on either side of those in the same week. Both of my kids have gotten two teeth at the same time. They always get two teeth at the same time. They always come in together. <laughs> hey, you make a noise. And then they have a nice break afterwards, but I just don't even know why they get two, so many teeth at the same time. <laughs> Babies with teeth are so cute because when he smiles, he just has this toothy grin and you can still see a lot of his gums. It's just the cutest thing. I, I love it. Sleep training is going really good. I don't know if I said in the last update we were gonna start that sleep training. I think I did. But we did start sleep training and he's doing really well. He falls asleep on his own fabulously. So whenever he goes to sleep for the night or for any nap, I can just lay him in his bed. I swaddle his lower half and then I give him a teething pill since he's teething. I use the homeopathic teething tablets and then I'll put his pacifier in and I can leave and he will fall asleep by himself, which is so nice. It is saving me literally hours of my day that he will fall asleep by himself. He does take most of his naps in his bed now and ends up sleeping really good, which is nice that I don't have to carry around a heavy baby like in a carrier while I get work done. So it's been easier on my back and shoulders since he started sleeping by himself. And then some, I just feel like I can do more things without him because some things I would be like, well, I'll wait till he wakes up because it might wake him up, like a noisy thing or if I had to bend over a bunch of times. So it is convenient and it, my back's been feeling a little bit better since then. But I'm also a little sad about it because I love wearing him in wraps or whatever. But just watching his little sleeping face while I walk around and get stuff done, it's just like my favorite thing. So I'm a little bit sad that we're kind of pretty much fat past the baby wearing phase, but he just sleeps so much longer by himself. So I think it's time to just let him sleep by himself. <laughs> I do still wear him in a sling or a wrap when we go like on a hike or we go to someone's house. I don't really expect him to fall asleep at someone else's house. So if we were going somewhere, I do still wear him quite a bit. And when he's fussy, I'll just put him in the sling because he still really enjoys it, even if he doesn't sleep. So we do use my baby wearing stash quite a bit still, which I really like. The main sleep trouble that I've been having with him lately is that he wakes up a lot in the middle of the night. He doesn't need to nurse, which is nice. And I, there was one night that I let him nurse and then the next morning I was like, well, I probably shouldn't have because right now when he wakes up, he isn't hungry because he hasn't nursed at night since he was like two months old. 
he just like weaned himself. I didn't do sleep training at that point. But like I know he's not hungry at night because it's been so long since he's eaten at night. So I need to just like keep him at that point where he doesn't need to nurse at night. I don't know if that makes sense, but like if, I feel like if I start letting him nurse at night, then when he does wake up, he will feel hungry and then I'll feel worse about like if I don't want to nurse him. So like I just gotta keep him going at least on that thing. So he doesn't nurse at night. He eats a lot in the day, but he just needs me to put his pacifier back at night, which is a little bit annoying that I have to keep putting that back because it didn't really used to be like that. He used to sleep through the night, but since I've sleep trained him and since he's not been in his swaddle anymore, he wakes up a lot more, which I'm pretty sure once he just gets used to it and we've just been doing it more consistently, he'll, he'll adjust and he'll start sleeping longer. But there was one night a couple days ago where he slept all the way through until 5.30 and then I put his pacifier back to that point, but that was so nice. I was like so energized the next day. It was just amazing. I just have him sitting up on the floor right here. He's looking at some books. So yes, as I said, I'm not swallowing him anymore, but I do use one of my swaddling blankets and I'll swaddle it around his chest, like under his arms. So his arms are out, but he still has the like um, security of having a blanket around him. And then since, it seems like since he's not been having his arms in the swaddle, He's been a lot more wiggly and he'll like roll over in bed. He sleeps on his side a lot. He flings his legs around. So I've noticed that he'll like, the whole swaddle will like hike up until it's like all around his stomach. So I've been tying the swaddle under his feet so that it like stays where it should be. <laughs> Cause he is just crazy wiggly at night. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But he's doing really well with not being swaddled. At first he really hated it. He just really, really loved the security of being swaddled. But now that I know he can roll over in bed because I've seen him do it, I didn't really feel comfortable having him swallowed because if he rolls over, then his arms are just stuck down. I know he can lift his head up. He would probably be fine, but I just like knowing that he has his arms out to push himself up or whatever he needs to do. So yeah, at first it was really hard for him to not be swaddled, but I started out like doing it more gradually. Like at first my plan was to do sleep training where he could fall asleep by himself. And then after he was good at that, falling asleep by himself, I would leave one arm out of the swaddle and just swaddle like the other arm down. I was swaddling the arm down, like I was swaddling his right arm down because that's the one he pulls his pinky out the most with. And then after he was good, I was gonna be where after he was good at that, I would leave both arms out and work on that. But I was like, ugh, that's just gonna take so long. It's gonna drag this out. I was just like, just do it all at once. So I just took his arms out of the swaddle. I started with naps because those are a little bit easier. And then now we're doing all naps and night time. So. I'm just like, rip the band-aid off. That's kind of how I am as a personality. I'm just like, just rip the band-aid off, just get it done, go cold turkey, just like. So, I think it was better that way because it would have been like just dragging it out a lot longer to do one thing at a time and he would have gotten used to each thing and then we would have changed it right after he got used to it. It would have just been not as easy for me. So even though he rolls over at night, because I've seen him do it, he doesn't roll over during the day at all. And I've been trying more, more often to just lay him on the floor and let him have like, playtime on his own, which he really, really hates. So I haven't done it as much as I should have, but I just will try to leave him on the floor for like 15, 10, 15 minutes, a couple times a day, so he can at least practice trying to roll over. But he has never rolled from his back to his stomach just during the day. Like he has no interest in moving at all. He'll wiggle at night because he doesn't want to be in bed, but not during the day. It's like so funny. He just like so content with holding still. He just lays there. He really likes to be sit up. He can't get to sitting by himself, which I know you're not really supposed to sit them up or stuff like that until they can actually do it themselves, but he just loves it so much. And he'll sit in his high chair for like hours and he loves it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna sit him up because it's not that bad. I was actually, me and Luke were watching some of Sophia's old updates, which I'm so glad I have these all on YouTube because I can look back because I, you forget all these things. So I've been, it's been fun to look back and see what Sophia was doing at all these ages. But she was rolling over by five months and he's seven months and he, he will do it at night, but he's just like, <laughs> doesn't really want to move. So yeah, he doesn't, he still doesn't like to be left by himself, especially when he's laying on the floor. If he's a little bit better, if he's able to sit up, he likes to be sat in his high chair or I'll set him like in the, in the corner of the couch where he can't really fall over very easily. And he's got enough strength that he can hold himself up really well if, if he is at least in like the corner of the couch. I wouldn't just set him up in the middle of the floor and leave him because he will most likely tip over. But he will play contentedly if I'm in the room and he can see me. He is such a mama's boy. He really wants to just be able to know I'm there at all times. He has been a lot more vocal lately. He loves to yell. He will just start yelling on the top of his lungs. 
It is really hard to hear anyone else talking. It's kind of funny. He likes to yell, da, 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 which is cute. I know he's not actually saying da, da, but it's pretty cute. He likes to do that at night, especially a lot of times if he wakes up at night and uses his pacifier, for the longest time, he won't even start crying. He will just lay there and yell, da, 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 which we still can't sleep when he's doing that because we're all in the same room. So I will go put his pacifier back before he even cries because he's like so loud when he yells. It's pretty funny. He has got a good pair of lungs on him. He really likes to blow bubbles and he spits and he sticks his tongue out like and spits like that. He thinks he just, he just did it. Did you copy me? <laughs> he's doing it. Oh, he's copying me. That's so cute. He really likes to do that, but he, it really just flings spit everywhere. So <laughs> if he's laying on his back and he's doing it, it'll just like, spit will just keep flying up and land on his face and he'll, his face will just be soaked by the time he's done spitting. It's really funny. Oh, and I almost forgot. One of the biggest pieces of news is that he is starting to eat solids. It is crazy. I started Sophia on a tiny little bit of solids when she was like five months and I hadn't really started him on anything until he was like seven months. There was like once around six months I think that I offered him a tiny little taste of banana and he acted like he was dying, like he just had no interest. And then he seemed more and more interested in food this last month. So we tried yeah. banana again and he loves it. He will eat like this much of the top of the banana, which seems like a lot to me because he's so little, but I'll just mash up little bites on my finger and then I'll put it in his mouth. Probably pretty soon, probably sometime this week, I will start him on some grated raw liver. I have some in the freezer still from our last steer that we got from my grandparents. And I'll also start him on some egg yolk. So you kind of soft boil an egg and then take the yolk out of the middle and feed it to them then. So it's like semi-cooked, but still soft, so they can like eat it easier. But yeah, it's crazy that he eats food, which I'm more dreading him eating like a lot of food because I know how their poop changes once they start eating food. And I, I cloth diaper both kids, and there's just such a huge difference in the poop of a baby that's fed exclusively breast milk and a baby who eats only solid foods because it is nasty when they start eating solid foods. like newborn poop well he's not a newborn but he like breastfed babies and just like their poop doesn't stink like it almost smells like sweet it's just so easy to clean and you don't even have to rinse it off the diaper because it's water soluble it's like a dream to clean his diaper so that's like one thing that i'm dreading having him switch to solids but it's gonna happen eventually so i'll just do it slowly as he seems interested i think that's all for this update He's doing so many new things. Right now he's kind of fussy. I think his teeth hurt, but poor guy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this seven month update for little Demetrius. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.